magic at Christmas time this year. Oh, we are in for a good time cheer. The spirit of the season, the make the dreams come true. Memories of Christmas are here for me and you. If you have kids, chances are one day you will be sitting on the same curb and watch the same parade as I did, just so that you can put a smile on your kid's face. But the question is that, how much does it cost for that smile? So in today's episode, I will be sharing my experience with you guys as the first time I'm going to Disneyland with two young kids. How much did we spend and what did we do at Disneyland? Please keep this in mind, since this was a last minute trip, we didn't do any research or look for any deal. We just went with the flow, so it cost us a pretty penny. We hope that you learned something new from this video and don't make the same mistake as we did. The day that I'm enjoying the most is finally here. We're in Disneyland. To start off, let's cover the basic costs outside of Disneyland. Disneyland is located in Anaheim, California, so you would need to fly or drive from wherever you're at. We're from Houston, so a round trip to LA for us was $461.88. Then, you would need a car. We got this Toyota Sienna from Enterprise. $20, so there you go. $20, 4 days. Then, of course, you would need a place to stay. We got this awesome Airbnb place for $1,168.50 for 3 nights. Or, $389.50 per family. I made a review video about this place so you guys want to check it out. So parking at Disneyland is $25 per car from 8am to 11pm. So even if you show up at 10.30pm, it is still $25. On a side note, I guess selfie stick is a big no-no at Disneyland. They search my bag thoroughly for a selfie stick. Once you get past security, you would need a ticket. Kids under 3 get in for free. So ticket to get in Disneyland with a max pass for us was $328. We brought a portable wagon from Houston, but wagons are not allowed since you can only have something that you can push, but not something that you can pull. So we had to get a stroller for the kid. It's $15 for the single stroller or $35 for the double stroller. We went with the double strollers. The Max Pass come with a free unlimited digital photo download for the entire park. So we did what all first time I did. We took some pictures. Our daughter didn't like that very much, so I ended up with a kick to the nose. So far, our total came out to be $1,445.30. Let's keep this thought on hold for a bit and let's talk about what we did at Disneyland. As we walked through the magical castle, our first ride was the King Arthur Carousel. But before the ride, let's take some free photos. Our max pass let us basically skip the entire line so we went straight to the It's a Small World ride. Here's how it looked like in the morning, and here's how it looked like at night. Pretty nice, huh? It's a Small World is basically a boat ride that takes you around the world to see a bunch of dolls blinking at you. My daughter was loving it. I, on the other hand... Well, it was good. They put in a lot of work into this ride. First rise over. Right, baby? We went to Mickey Toontown next, and did you guys know that Who Framed Roger Rabbit was part of Disney? I really didn't know that until today. We got to ride the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin right there, and surprisingly, my daughter didn't like it. She was actually afraid of the character. It's over. No more scared. Yeah, fun call. No. You scared? Your sister was scared. No, she was scared. Then we walk around and check this out. So far, not as bad. It's actually pretty fun. We got a chance to meet some of our favorite Disney characters like Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Pluto, and the one that got to meet the most was Donald Duck. I grew up watching him and here I am, giving him a dap. So Toontown has a small town hall and every time when you hear this sound, a character would come out so you just drop everything and run to the town hall to see the character. So it's about 1.30ish so the kid had to eat and then nap. They have pizza and hot dog here for the kids so we got a pan pizza to try. $8.49 You get this Whole pan pizza 
Wow, it's actually pretty good. Hot, cheesy. And by the way, you guys can bring food and drink inside of Disneyland. Uncle Brian finally decided to show up and he brought us some bun meat or Vietnamese sandwiches. And look, we got bun meat here. Thanks to Uncle Brian and Sriracha. Can't beat this. Free. So the majority of the time, we just uh, sit around and do nothing. This is what we do as a parents at uh, Disneyland. Chilling. While we wait for our kid to nap. And of course, it started raining. They do sell poncho here for $10 each. So around 3.30 p.m., they have a Christmas fantasy parade. And to be honest, I was definitely feeling it. I don't know if it was because of the music or seeing my favorite Disney character come to life or the fact that I get a chance to spend time with my family. But anyways, it was very magical. It got me dabbing and everything. I wish I could show you guys the entire parade, but I'm pretty sure YouTube would copyright it somehow. So here's the shorter version of it. After the parade, we went to Tomorrowland. The first ride that caught our attention was this Astro Overdo ride. It got pretty high up and you get to see a bird eye view of Disneyland. We took a popcorn break after the ride and we got a chance to take in the magical of the castle as the sun was going down. After that, we head straight to Autotopia. It's basically a go-kart, but you can only go straight. You can't even turn left or right. After that, we went to the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin to do some laser shooting. It was pretty fun. And then we went back to Toontown to ride the Gadget Gold Coaster. My daughter was loving it. I'm sorry about the darkness. It was the best I can do to capture that moment. My wife requested that we ride this Mad Tea Party teacup ride. I guess she has a thing for Alice in Wonderland. It was fun, but you would definitely feel dizzy afterwards. By this time, the kids were tired, cold, and hungry, so we decided to leave without watching the fantastic show and the fireworks. Well, you would think that we would be done with Disneyland, right? Well, when we got home that night, my godbrother Mum would say that we missed out big time, and here's our conversation reenactment for that night. So how was it, Mum? It was great. It was great? Yeah. It was magical. It was magical? Yeah. yeah. You should have been there. Really? Yeah, you missed out big time. Wow. And the world of colors? Yeah. Ten times better. Oh man. Yeah. So originally we were planning to visit Disneyland for one day. We wasn't planning to go back to back because we had family and friends to visit. But the thought of my daughter missing out on this world of color show was on my mind the entire day. I couldn't even enjoy my hot pot and I was eating at the best hot pot in LA. Remember earlier in the video I told you guys to hold on that thought about the cost? Well, we went back to Disneyland at 7.30 p.m. the following night. Pay $25 for parking and $250 to enter Disney California Adventure Park just so that my daughter can watch this world color show. But before that, we got to sneak in a few rides. The Little Mermaid Ariel Under the Sea Adventure. And yep, and after we got home, all I can hear was under the sea, under the sea, just you and me. And then the Golden Zephyr. Oh my god. And we caught a little bit of the fireworks and the silly symphony swing. And finally, here's the World of Color Water Shows. Personally, I thought it was just okay. It wasn't as magical as the Christmas parade from yesterday, but it wasn't about me. It was all about my daughter, and it seemed like she really did enjoy the shows. You like it, huh? Is it worth it? No? The show was about 26 minutes long, and I know you guys don't have time for that. So here's the one minute version of it.
All together, we spent one thousand seven hundred twenty-eight dollars and thirty cents. All so that we can put a smile on our daughter's face, and she might not remember this. As I was going through the footage, I noticed that the same smile can be achieved with a four-dollar ice cream cone. Like Homer Simpson say, "Dope." Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the day here at Disneyland. Uh, thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon.